Hey gamers, what is up? New World Orphan 9 here. Today we're going to be comparing some benchmark data and footage from my old onboard HD 6550D graphics card to my new Sapphire HD 7850 1GB DDR5 graphics card. I know, I know what you're thinking. It's a decent increase in graphics cards, but let's just see how much of an increase $180 will get, okay? First off, let's go over my system specs. I'm using 64-bit Windows 7 Ultimate with a MSI A75MA G55 motherboard. Processor is an AMD A83870K APU, runs at about 3 gigahertz. Uh, I have about 8 gigs of RAM, Cosair DDR3. The hard drive here, it says it's one terabyte. I also have another terabyte hard drive that didn't show up during the scan. But yep, there's my system specs. Now that we've seen the PC specs, let's go ahead and look at the data from the benchmarks that I ran on my old video card and my new video card. Old video card meaning the 6550D on the left, new video card meaning the 7850 on the right. Let's go ahead and look at my old video card on the left which is just the onboard 6550D. As you can see the graphics card specs is definitely why it is an onboard and it performed not very well at all. Look at the results from the benchmark below, you can see that the highest frames per second I hit was 4.5. It didn't do very well at all, coming out with a score of 958. My new graphics card on the right, the HD7850, as you can see, the graphics card specs are drastically better than my onboard graphics card. So it was going to outperform it quite well in the test. As you see below from all the test results, the highest frames per second I reached was about 37.5 frames per second, and that was on the graphics test 3. Uh, the combined test was 16 frames per second, which is not bad, um, coming out with a total score of 4,982 for my new graphics card. I am happy with the $180 spent, spent well, and uh, all the games that I'm playing are seamless. They're great. Able to jack it all up to Ultra. Playing Crisis 3, I had to do it all on high. Um, but that's a, a uh, game that is uh, high graphics demanding. Other than that, all the other games I was able to pump it up to Ultra. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at some of the footage from the benchmarks that I ran. And here I'm going to show you the benchmark uh, video for the 6550D and as you can see here it just it sucks it is really glitchy grainy uh, the lighting and shadowing is just horrible so ultimately that's why I wanted to get a new video card so let's go ahead and see what the new video card looks like alright let's go ahead and look at the benchmarks for the HD 7850 as you can see now, it's a, a bit smoother. It's handling the lights and the shadows a lot better. There's really no glitching around. Um, if you were able to see the frames per second from before, they're getting drastically better on the new graphics card here. Now we'll go into the footage from the old one. And as you can see on the new video card, it handles this a lot better nothing really that I can see at all this is the combination test um, of everything together and the frames per seconds up in the 30s not bad for $180 uh, I think the money is well spent I enjoy it my games movies videos anything on the screen looks a lot better